Hello everyone, I want to welcome you to this broadcast. My name is Mark DeJesus and I want to take some time to share with you a resource that I think will be so beneficial to your life, to your journey, to what you're going through. I don't know anyone who doesn't need to face the issue of fear in its various forms, including anxiety, stress, worry, all these kind of thought systems of pressure, maybe it might be phobic stuff, panic attacks, can come about in a lot of different ways. I'm excited to release to you this awesome edition of I Will Not Fear. And what I want to do is just take a moment to just share with you what is available in this resource that will be a very deep help to your life and your journey. Also some of the updates and new things that are in it that will really help your life and a little bit about what I've been doing. Because in the early 2000s, I, as many of you know in my story and my journey, I struggled with very, very deep anxiety, panic attacks, OCD, obsessive compulsive kind of thinking. And I was in a really tough spot. And I was working at a fairly large church. I had a very busy schedule, a lot going on. Many things were going wonderful on the outside, but on the inside, I was a mess, and I really needed help. I tell this to people all the time. There was many, many seasons for long periods of times. We're on the scale of 1 to 10, 10 being like the worst. I was a 9 or 10, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for quite a while. I know the depth and heartache of what it feels like to feel this anxious, dark presence, to kick you into even depression, because many people who go through anxiety also face deep uh, spats or seasons or battles with depression as well as the anxiety, and found myself at my wit's end, not knowing what to do, where to go, or how to even get free. And I cried out to God, and I'm saying to him, if there's any way you can show me some answers and help me to make sense of what I'm going through. Because I got voices in my head saying stuff, I've got feelings, I've got all this stuff that I can't seem to understand and I can't seem to work through and find any victory over. And God began to send people into my life in series and he opened up his word to me and I found myself being immersed into a season of learning like never before. I didn't have somebody pray with me and all of a sudden the fear was gone. I didn't have somebody pray with me and the anxiety was gone. I didn't have like a magic pill moment. What I found was a process and a journey whereby I was able to learn what fear does, how it affects me, and also in a process how to layer by layer allow God to heal and to set free areas that we're bound with anxiety, that we're bound with worry, that we're bound with OCD kind of thinking. So in 2008, I had written a first edition of I Will Not Fear. Well, it's been 10 years later since then. I've worked with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people personally. I've spoken to thousands of people and I have been teaching and now I've been in full-time coaching, consulting, and helping people to go to the next level in their journey in their life. Because really what it comes out of is my own journey of freedom. It comes out of my own journey and my own passion. So whether it's the podcast we do, whether it's the one-on-one -on -one work that we do, whether it's the resources that we make available online, the videos, the constant book writing that I'm doing, the weekly blog, blog posts I put together, it's all about helping people to get set free and helping them to realize the things that are underlying the battles that they're going through that are keeping them from that freedom. And so stats say that anywhere from like a quarter or so of Americans have a diagnosed mental health issue. Um, that's just those that get diagnosed. Not to mention the many more that are deeply, deeply struggling with anxiousness, constant worry. Then there's the rest of us who you may not have anxiety going on, but you have a fear that keeps you from going from where you are right now to going to what is possible for you. And I would say that that's a very, very common problem going on because in the presence of fear, what we look is we run to safety. We want safety. We have a need for safety. 
And there is a need for love. There is a need for healing. But there's also a need for us to break free to the next level, to break into what's possible, and to exercise our faith and to actually experience what's on the other side of fear. So I spent a lot of my time asking people this question. Number one, are you aware of the fear issues that you face in your life? Are you aware of what's trying to hold you back? Or do you shove it down, hide it, pretend it's not there, avoid it? Because that's what fear wants you to do. It wants you to avoid certain subjects, avoid certain decisions. And many times you're facing one fear away from everything changing. And so the second question I ask is, what would you do if fear wasn't in the picture? What would your life look like if there was zero fear? And so it's sometimes helpful to ask that question and reverse engineer your way back to the beginning and go, okay, what is it going to look like for me to begin taking steps? So in the past 10 years in working with tons and tons of people with anxiety issues, worry issues, depression issues, panic attack issues, I've taken this book and I've completely rewritten it. So this edition, many of you say, well, I've already got I Will Not Fear. I've gotten it. I've read through it. This book is almost totally different. And I'll tell you why. There's about 60% of this material that's all new. All new written material, all new tweaked material. And what I did was, is I took this and I divided it up into 28 easy to read chapters. Because I'm learning in my writing, I want to be concise. I want to give you the insights you need. I want to cut the fat out to say what needs to be said. And then I want to give you practical tools to walk forward. So if I just open up this book, you'll see here, it's divided up into 28 chapters. I talk about getting honest, recognizing the language of fear, the culture of fear, the history of fear, your physiology, how fear affects your physiology, how fear gets your attention, that fear is a terrorist, and what we need to do when we're dealing with a terrorist influence. Letting go of your survival tactics. I, I dedicated a whole chapter here just to help address the fact of you're not alone. Because many times, there we are. Many times that's one of the biggest things that we struggle with is loneliness. You're the only one that struggles with this anxiety. You'll never get free. I talk about your need for safety. The, the perfect love that casts out fear and how love makes a difference. I also have a whole chapter on developing an empowered hope and a faith that destroys your fear. And there's some really cool chapters here that will make you think God is not trying to torment you. Fear is not you. <laughs> Isn't that a concept? I talk about three levels of addressing fear, taking action. What does it mean to strengthen your mind, taking charge? Knocking out the five friends of fear. Five friends that contribute to anxiety and stress. And there's a whole activation chapter about the power of stillness. How to use times of stillness to actually strengthen your ability to overcome anxiety, to overcome fear. And uh, we, we, I talk some about getting honest about stress. Ten mindsets for stress relief, right? Because we want to be insightful but also practical. I get into habits for fear-free living. Five steps to address an anxiety attack. Come on, isn't that the kind of stuff that you want and that you need? Confronting the fear of man and facing your fears. So this is good stuff. This is, this is phenomenal. This is kicking chicken. This is right out of the oven, ready for you. Now, this book is available today. Go to markdehesus.com and you can get the opportunity to Delve right into this in paperback. It's also available on Amazon in Kindle. So if you have a Kindle reader or if you have a computer, because most computers can download a Kindle reader app so you can read on your computer. You can also get the Kindle app on your phone. Most smartphones, whether it's Google Play or it's the iTunes store for Apple uh, iPhones, you can get in the store the free app of Kindle reading, and you can read right there on your phone. You can use it on your tablet. So 
Kindle is one of the great formats that is out there. It holds your place so that you can sync. You can um, sync it between devices so that when you finish reading on one, you can look at it on the other. But what's brand new that has not existed, even in my previous edition, is the audiobook version. And I'm so psyched about it because you get to hear me and my voice sharing this. And so if you, if you don't have an Audible account, Audible is owned by Amazon. Audible distributes my Audible book, audio books. You can go to markdehesus.com forward slash Audible. You can get a free 30-day um, membership to try it out. And you get one free book. And so you could technically get my book on audio for free. So again, markdehesus.com forward slash audible, A-U-D-I-B-L-E. And that'll give you an opportunity to check out that book and be able to dive right in. So this book is intended for the believer who wants to overcome and wants to overcome fear's influence, but needs insight and needs how to. It's for the person who you know of a loved one who's struggling and you want to get more equipped to not only help yourself, but to help your loved one. And the cool thing is that in every chapter, you see we've got these cool graphics. For instance, letting go of your survival tactics, right? Because fear causes us to live in survival mode. It's why we're so stressed out and overburdened because we're constantly living in survival. So in just, I'll just show you this. Just a couple page turning, because I know many of you out there, you, are, you don't have a whole lot of time, but you want to learn. Just a few page turns. I am at the end of the chapter. Done. In fact, when I went through the audiobook reading, I found I was reading through entire chapters in anywhere from about 9 to 15 minutes. So there's 28 of these. And I can go through 28 days with you. Now, I want to say this very clearly. That 28 days may not be 28 days in a row, like right after each other. Because some of it needs to be read and then marinated on. Right? But look at the end of the chapter. You have there questions for consideration. And then prayers. Prayers that I can walk with you through. And you can utilize. And if you're a person that likes to listen, I can go with you in the car. I can, I can, you'll hear my voice. I'll pray and you can pray along with me. So um, I want to, I'll also have a whole brand new online course based on this book coming out. Many of you were really encouraged by my Exposing the Rejection Mindset book and the online course that I did with that is extremely, incredibly helpful. But uh, I love how this book is laid out. I love the ease of it. I love the, the, the clarity of it. And I love the practicality and love how at each step, you know, there's, there's a couple sections here that I have. For instance, two things to stop doing today I talk about when it comes to fear. Two things you can stop doing today. And then I talk about stages, stages of what it means to go through honest recognition and, and allowing God to do some inventory. And I write some of the prayers that you can go into. Uh, areas of renewal, of how you can begin renewing areas. And what does that mean? What does that look like? How do you, uh, retraining your focus, retraining your thought life. Um, learning, uh, there's a section here that I wrote about retraining, refining what we call the gut voice. You know, people follow their gut, so to speak. And I realized there were areas of my gut that were actually trained by fear. And then I have... Very, very practical things that you can, um, 10 mindsets for stress relief. We live in a culture that is under the constant umbrella and work and operation of stress. And I give 10 mindsets and I also get into habits. I, everything I share in here, nothing is theory. Everything's been applied in my life and applied in the people that I help. I know this is going to make way for more resources, more writings as we move forward because I really want to create and encourage cultures that are going to cultivate I will not fear cultures and fear-free environments. You don't have to give in and live in to fear. It's a strategy. It's 
So this book is a strategy for overcoming anxiety, worry, and fear-based living in your life. So I want to encourage you, get this in your hands. Get it in the hands of a loved one. Again, you can go to markdehesus.com, and I really, really hope that you'll take advantage of it. Get this book in your life. Get it in the hands of a loved one, and let's really help people to move into an I will not fear kind of lifestyle. Because many times you're just one decision away. And the decision I made was, I will not fear. My decision was, I'm not going to serve fear any longer. I may struggle. I may have to go through a journey. I may have to walk through some stages. But I'm not going to let fear be the dominant, dominant narrative of my life. So anyways, bless you guys. Hope this helps and encourages you. I'll uh, see you down the road. Go to markdehesus.com today and then click on the link that'll take you to Amazon. And I would really appreciate that. And I look forward to more good stuff.